Hi everybody, in this video I have another first restoration uh, AI for you. Uh, we're gonna show you why this one works so well with examples. And make sure to subscribe because I'm searching some amazing AI for you. Both you can work with MeJourney and either AI art uh, uh, generators and some other cool AI stuff. So make sure to subscribe. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna link to it in the description of this video so you can try it out. Uh, so this was made to actually improve the quality of low quality images. Uh, it does fast restoration, uh, but it also it does it very, very, very well. That's some caveat. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to show you uh, how you can come uh, over it. As you can see here, uh, it looks really beautiful. And actually some of the most uh, distorted faces that I gave it, it actually solved it very, very well. It actually kept also to the original. So if you have a distorted eye with slightly big, it will still maintain this proportion of the eye which sometimes you want it. You don't want it to do something maybe, you know, disproportional. Um, so it actually does a very, very good job at that. All right, so this is a close up of the image. All right, and you can see this is before and this is after. Now you can also say that it touches things around the face and this is throughout the image. And sometimes you want to avoid it, you might want to kind of uh, create copies in Photoshop layers and just copy the face. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a moment. But you can see the results are really, really beautiful. All right, it really does a very, very good job. Now we can always go and run the upload images cell and have the upload control and upload another image there. And uh, after I do that, uh, we just go to, you need to skip there or you can use the demo by running by following code. You see that? Just skip it. It's just for a demo. You don't need to run it. Uh, so basically we can just go down and uh, you can skip this one and run inference right it allows you to actually see the uh, differences between the two images which is really cool you can observe the difference so run that and then visualize now you can see the difference between the before and after side by side and this is a crop by the way just of the face so it's really cool and look at the job this this is really kind of a very uh kind of a let's say noisy results from me journey and look how good the correction is you can see that still the eyes maintain the same size so if you want don't want actually the face restoration to touch it touch it it actually does a very good job there because it will really maintain the size of the eye but it will correct it uh, I'm going to show you a side by side in a moment. And again, if you click this one, you can see now the full image. You can see some of the details, like for example, the hat there is kind of removed by the algorithm. I'm going to show you somehow you can just, just use the face and copy it to the original one. Again, because we just want to restore the face in the most part. Beautiful results. All right. Uh, this is the before. And this is the after. Look at that. Stunning, huh? Just stunning. This is a close up before and after. Right? Take a look before. Look at the lips area after. Nose, eyes, eyebrows. Right? But some of the areas uh, outside the face are affected as well. I mean, maybe it won't be that such a big deal, but if it is, I'm going to show you some just how you can actually do this in Photoshop. But the restoration of the face is just incredible. I wish you just segment the face, but again, this was designed for uh, just, you know, face restoration specifically uh, and to restore low quality one, but it does amazing job as you can see here. And it keeps also the original kind of a uh, face uh, look and shape. Uh, this is another one. As you can see, the eye size was kind of a maintain, but it just fixed everything else around it. All right, here's another example. The second one is slightly sharpened in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do this as well soon. All right, and we're gonna see now a close up. Before, after. Before. This is kind of a very kind of extreme example of something that goes wrong in in uh, me journey and can be maybe in other ones and the restoration is just superb and after 
you just reveal the face after you know after all this uh, distortion made by me journey and look at that beautiful restoration all right now in photoshop i want to show you how, how we can kind of uh just make sure that the uh, the face is the one that will be maintained the other ones will be as it is so if you can see here i have two layers uh the first layer i'm just going to put here this is uh restored all right and this is original all right so restored and original so as you can see here this will be slightly sharpened by the way i applied all right but again you can see you just go closer all right this is the difference you can see the difference uh i just want the face because sometimes maybe areas for example if you see around the hair you see it changes it will change some other things ignore the sharpness but sometimes just remove things overall just a good job even with that but sometimes you get things here that you don't want to be messed with you see the hair for example and even here details removed a bit so what we're gonna do uh very simple basically you can take something like a, a elliptical marquee tool all right uh and we got just gonna go and choose the face area or we can further do it by going to select transform selection and just apply it to the face area you can actually hold the shift if we just want to remove it disproportionately all right so you can do that with just the face area all right and now to make it smoother uh, we can go to select uh, um, modify header and a feather for this one i think we can take like uh let's say uh, eight and just control j to copy to a new layer and i'm just going to remove the other one all right so i'm just removing the this one and now we have the restore layer is now removed and just remove it all right and you can see that the face all right now we can make further changes, but as you can see here, it looks really, really nice, all right? I can go if I want to fine tune and remove it, uh, for example, to a finer transition. I can go with choosing the erase tool, choose low opacity, so it won't affect it that much. Choose the brush that I want, and I can just maybe reduce it here, remove it here so it'd be a bit more gradual. But overall it looks really nice. So this is how I got just the face and the original image. Other than that, the same. All right. So if I put that, you see, this is uh, sorry um, before. Then now with just the face on top of it, everything is with the same. Just the face replaced. All right. For example, if I want to move it here, you see this area. I want to move it. I can just go to the eraser and uh, just erase it a bit you can see that right even this area i can just use the eraser if you see something that's just a bit i want to merge it as before this area so it would be like the original one All right yeah and that's it that's about it very simple All right everything else original faces reconstructed and this is i hope you find this one useful consider leaving it and subscribe more tips and cool tools are coming using ai uh so make sure to subscribe i see you on the next one consider leaving a like and uh, tell me if you find this one useful uh and uh more coming by the way regarding the i um uh, uh, size you can see that it's different i just want to show you quickly uh, you can do more or less the same by the way if you want to do it you can just for example if you prefer this side you can just go choose the eye select though so sometimes you don't get really the 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 right result i'm going to copy it to a new layer transform i'm going to flip horizontal and you just need to play with it so it won't appear kind of awkward but you know uh, you can actually further do stuff like moving the eye inside but again i won't get into it but there's ways to actually do it 
All right. And uh, that's about it. I hope you found this one useful. Yeah, and give a like. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.